Hello everyone, I am back with another tip for classroom organization. So today's tip is all about mailboxes and sort of a system that you use in your classroom. If you're a new teacher, a veteran teacher, veteran teachers, you probably already have your system. But if you're a newer teacher and you need ideas of how to kind of organize um, your system of like the children coming in with their folders, the children leaving with their folders, where to put supplies and all of that, I'm gonna share with you my um, classroom routine as far as how we organize um, pick up, take home materials. So I'm gonna show you a picture of my mailboxes. Um, this is, these are my mailboxes. Now there was a second row um, before and I slid those out and painted them all black. This was just left in my classroom. I wanted space for things to go on the top. This is what my mailbox looks like midday. So you can see there's paper, papers filed in here. Um, you can see up in this corner right here, there is a graded bin um, where I put all the papers that I've looked at that are ready to go home. And when I have time, I just come start filing them in my mailbox. I do number my children. Um, that's just the, I mean, I've just done it for years. It's the most beneficial thing. I've done, you know, as far as keeping track, the kids get a number, they put their name, space, and then their number on all their worksheets. And then um, I can just file mail quickly that way. So I do recommend using numbers. We put numbers on everything. So let's talk about when the kids come in in the morning. So they come in in the morning and they have their take home folder. And the first thing they're gonna do is head over to their mailbox, which I just showed you a picture of. And I'm gonna show you what that bin looks like in their mailbox. So here's my friend's mailbox. Um, this is just a bin I got at the dollar store. These little stickies were at the dollar, or dollar store, I'm sorry, Target. These little stickies were at Target as well last year. Um, I don't know that I've seen them this year, but you could just laminate. And I will link these labels if you want to grab these labels. Um, in the description. So I'm just covering up my friend's name. So they're going to come to their mailbox and they're going to grab this whole bin and they're going to take it back to their seat and they're going to take out that, this supply box and their pencil tray and they're going to put it on their seat. And then um, in a previous video, I talked about folders. So we're just going to pretend like today's a Monday. They're going to take out their Monday folder and they're going to put it in their seat sack. And then their bin looks pretty empty. So what they're gonna put in here is their take home folder, the one that they brought home. So that's what this, and then this is gonna go right back in their mailbox. So this just has their take home folder on it. And then during the day, I'm gonna file paper, papers, papers, if they have them or crafts or whatever. And at the end, they'll have their folder at the bottom, their papers, and they'll just put all their papers in their folder. So that is um, what I do with their mailbox bins. Next, I want to show you how I collect their worksheets or activities. So I recommend having a turn-in bin. You're going to laugh when you see my turn-in bin. It's huge. Um, I used just a simple tray like this before, but it just, I needed something bigger. So in my um, state of Ohio or in my town, we had this little consignment shop and it's my favorite store. I love to buy old things and refurbish them. So I was in there one day and I saw this big, huge box. Um, if you have a crafty, um, significant other, you could have them build you this or friend or whatever. But this little box here, so don't laugh, see how big it is, <laughs> um, is my turn-in tray. It even came with handles. I think it was like from a farm or whatever, but I wanna show you, I'm gonna turn it. It can fit two um, eight and a half by 11 sections of paper. Now you're going to have kids in your class that love to organize and kids that don't care. My organizers were always coming up and tidying up my inbox when they turn things in. You can teach your kids to turn them all in going the right way, facing forward in a very positive way. Um, and it will be so helpful to you when you're going through things. But the other bonus of having a huge box like this is crafts. So crafts never fit a standard um, box bin. So I like to have this and the kids just lay them across nicely in the bin. So that is why my turn and tray is huge. Um, here's a picture of it a few years ago. Um, actually, this was just last year. Here's my turn in bin. I actually have a kid size desk that it sits on. Um, and then you can see my book bin back here. But you can see how I have my orange folders in here. 
um, and then some other work in here. So at the end of the day, I forgot to mention that, they always turn their color folder into the turn a new tray. So this is the end of the day picture. All right, so you've learned where we keep our take home folders. They go back in this tub in the mailbox and our supplies sit right on our desk. Now, why do I move our supply tables? We don't have desks. Why do I move our supplies back into this tub every day? Because I want the janitors to be able to clean their tops really well. So at the end of the day, we put their supplies back in here and it's pretty empty except for supplies. So we don't have desks, we have tables, but we do have seat sacks. And again, I like to limit um, what they keep in them because otherwise they become a disaster. So I'm gonna share with you the three things, well, there's four, but only three that I have with me that I keep in their seat sack. So number one, their helper folder. That goes in their seat sack. They need this at all times. When they, Whenever they need it, it's right behind them. The other folder that goes in there is their white writing folder. Um, that is also in there. So they have two folders in their seat sack. And then they have a marble composition folder. And we, um, in first grade, learn poems every week and sing songs. I wrote lots of comprehension songs. So we um, glue them in this marble composition book, learn how to create a table of contents, number our pages, and it becomes like kind of a keepsake of all the songs and poems that we've used all year long. So um, those three things go in here. And I told you there's a fourth thing in here, and that is a bag of books that are at their level. Um, they keep those in there as well. Obviously, I don't have those right now, but um, that's what's in their seat sack. So we have mailboxes, seat sacks, and then their supplies sit on their desk during the day. So at the end of the day, they turn their color folder into the turn and tray. They grab this big bin, bring it back to their seat, take their papers and their folder home and put their supplies in here. And at that time is a great time if your folders are already prepped for the next day, you could give them their Tuesday folder if you decide to use that. So this is my organization tip for just all folder, um, like materials within your room at their seats and at their desks. I hope it was helpful. I hope you could grab um, a tip. Make sure to follow my other friends who have some great tips this week and I will see you soon.